Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We want to detect something. Yeah, We are using switches, we are using proximity switches. We know quite a lot of them now. And today we are talking about optical switches. Yeah? One sort of optical switch I think you all know is the so-called light barrier. Okay, So we have this light barrier and there are two ways. Light barrier. There are two ways of how to realize them. Yeah? There is this one way. One way light barrier. It's looking like that. Usually you have some emitter, yeah, some source, light source. Uh, uh, emitter huh? and then we have something which is detecting huh? here and in between we have this light beam okay here we have a light beam That's how it looks like. The light source is emitting light, the detector is detecting the light. And then, if some object is in between, yeah, here we have some object, and if we put the object in here, the light is blocked. And the detector is not detecting any light. Right? So this is a one-way light barrier. The object is blocking the light and that's it. And we detect it with the detector. There is also a reflection type. Reflection. We have again an emitter. We have again a detector, however, they are now at the same side. We have again an object we want to see or not see. And how is the light now coming from the emitter to the detector? Well, on one side we have some reflector. Okay, here we have some reflector. And the light usually is emitted by the emitter. is reflected by the reflector and detected by the detector. Good names, right? <laughs> okay, and if now the object is in the middle somewhere, the light will not get past the object, not be reflected, or the reflection will be blocked by the, by the object. And the detector does not detect anything now. Huh? This is how light barriers work. Okay. One possi other possibility here would be the reflex scanner. How is this working? It almost looks like that. There is an emitter. Oops. 
petite tête. However, there's no reflector, right? So if the real object is now is now somewhere out, this will simply emit light and the light is never returned. It will disappear somewhere. Boom. Signal to the universe. No object is there. <laughs> And then, if the object is inside, the light of the emitter will hit the object. The object is reflecting the light. And the detector now is detecting the object. That's the reflex scanner. It's scanning for the reflection. Okay? So here the object needs to be reflective, here the object needs to be non-reflective, because if I have a reflective object there, the detector would simply not notice it. And here we are already at the, the difficulties we're facing. So what are the difficulties we are facing with those optical switches? Well, light is all around us, right? So we usually have light somewhere. Yeah. So let's note yeah, issues What are the issues? Yeah. Typical source of complication is a false light. If the detector is not detecting the light emitted by the emitter but some other light. Yeah. So, usual countermeasures uh, are a uh, light of a certain type. Usual is we are using a gallium arsenide diode. This emitting light of around uh, 900 nanometers wavelength. Yeah? And this is not this is not constant, it's pulsed. Yeah? 1.5 kilohertz is a usual pulses. It's a usual way. Yeah? So this is how you at least you know can prevent somehow a little bit this false light. This is because then sunlight would not trigger the detector because it simply has not the correct wavelengths and not the correct pulse pulses. So we can somehow detect our own light. However, it's still an issue if we have several light barriers or reflect, reflect scanners in operation, because then the light might come from somewhere else. Yeah? Because it's, you know, there's a shiny object or, I don't know, wearing glasses and suddenly, poo. Yeah? Nothing is working. So, false light. Yeah? Then, of course, look at that. What is an issue? Yeah, Dirt. Dust. These things need to be cleaned. If the reflector is getting dirty or dusty, it will not reflect. If there is a lot of dirt or dust in the air, yeah, you might not detect anything because you don't detect because the light is... the like a nebula, it's already blocked by some dust, yeah? Cleaning. That's the only way you can deal with this. Yeah? Also, an issue is a change of object. You know? Let's say you are manufacturing, I don't know, some toys. Uh, so, and usually they are boxed in a, in a, they are in a simple plain paper box, yeah? and these things are working. Yeah? And then you make a special edition. Then you make because it's Christmas or whatever holiday in the in the year, and you make a nice shiny package. And suddenly these things are no longer working. Yeah? That. 
might cause serious troubles in your manufacturing. Yeah, this is now one 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 example. Yeah? How, you know, there is also what if the the object is emitting light by itself? Yeah, like a glowing coming out of some heater or in a in a in a forge or something like that. Yeah, and it is cooling off, and suddenly it is getting shiny and change of object yeah consider in planning that's the only countermeasure we can have yeah? and adjustment adjustment well you know these are delicate yeah sometimes it's even worse if there are longer ways. If it's just a short light barrier where you just detect some, it's usually no issue. Yeah? Uh, but if they are getting longer, then adjustment comes critical. Yeah? So, maintenance. Maintenance. That's the only way to deal with this issue. So, this is how optical switches usually work. Yeah? Like I said, special light to prevent false light detection. Different, different ways of how to construct them. And you have to live with these with this, um, limits. However, if everything is met, they usually work pretty well. Yeah, optical switches. Next topic would then be ultrasonic switches. Not use not optic, but use sound. How this is working and what things we have to consider there will be discussed in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.